Hello and welcome. Today we're working on accounting basics. We're doing a problem that we can only solve using the accounting equation. So if you, this is interesting to you, then make sure you look at all our playlists of all the videos in accounting basics. Now let's just do a little review, make sure we're all on the same page. There's five types of accounts in accounting. There's assets that you own, and then you have liabilities that you owe to the creditors, and you have equity what the owners have claimed to or what you owe to the owners. So these three are called the balance sheet accounts. They go in the balance sheet and the accounting equation that we're working on in this problem is really assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. If you want to look at it in a kind of a graphic here, all the assets have to equal the total liabilities and the total equity. Now the other two accounts are revenues and expenses. Revenues is anytime you earn assets, you sold a product or service, and then expenses anytime you use up assets. Now we show this and summarize all this as four different financial statements. We're gonna look at the first two here, the income statement and the balance sheet. What's the income statement? Well, we have revenues minus expenses. That gives us our net income or net profit, or it could be a loss. So the first three accounts here go on the balance sheet. Why does it have to balance? Well, it's the accounting equation. Assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. And then the next two, the revenues and expenses, are called income statement accounts. All right, so let's look at the problem and we'll do three different questions based on this. Here's information for the Platinum Company at the end of December. And I've just listed several different accounts with their amounts, and I just did it in an alphabetical order, which is not really the way we do it. We want to find out, you know, what are assets, list those first, then liabilities, then equity, then revenues, then expenses. So let's go through this real quickly and figure out what type of account each one of these is. So I just have a little data validation in Excel just to make it really simple. Accounts payable is we owe money, so that's a liability. Accounts receivable, people owe us money, so that's an asset. Cash is something of value that we own, asset. Equipment is also something we own, and other asset. Anytime it says payable, we know we're going to pay money, we owe that money, that's a liability. Owner's drawings, well, anything having to do with the owner is going to be an equity account. And then we've got rent expense, well, that's an expense, that makes it easy. Service revenue is a revenue account. And the last two, the two expenses, are both expense accounts. So that's really helpful. Sometimes you might want to just go through in a problem like this, just label them, and that way you kind of know, you look at, we have three assets, we have two liabilities, we have one revenue, so on. All right, so let's answer the first question is, what are the total assets for this little business? All right, so... Here's what we do. We're, we're going to back look at the assets. We had three assets. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste it. That's okay. So we have cash is one of them. Accounts receivable is our next asset. And our equipment is our third asset. All right. Now, it says, what are the total assets? We could just list those really quickly. But I think we ought to use the balance sheet because we're going to need the balance sheet in, in, uh, later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the cash is 14,000. The accounts receivable is 11,000 and the equipment is going to be 15,000. So what are our total assets? Well, our total assets are 40,000. I've set up the balance sheet because later on question three, we're going to need owner's equity. We're going to use the accounting equation to back in and find what the equity would be. So the answer to this question is, what are the total assets? The total assets are 40,000. Let's go to the next one. What if we have, I'm gonna get rid of all this. So what if we have net income? How do we do net income? Well, this is the income statement. We could just calculate it, but you're more likely to miss it. So I'm gonna write out a, an income statement here. And with Excel, obviously it makes it super easy to do this. So we have service revenue is our revenue account. 
And what's the total revenue here? 53500 And then we have um, three different expenses. We have rent expense. And then we have utilities and wage expense. So our rent expense is 14000 Now I'm pointing to the 14001 I don't want to type it over again and, and I might make a mistake. Uh, but also we can change the original numbers and what would happen is then the expenses update and the net income update. So it's really uh, the best way to do Excel here. Utilities expense are $5,500 and wages expense are $9,500. So what is our total? Well, we can just equal sum these three. So our total expenses are 29,000. Now there's a quicker way. If you're on Windows, you can do Alt equals at the same time. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command Shift T for me, and it does the formula sum H9 through H11. Now, what's our net income? We're trying to answer the question, what is net income? It is going to be 53,000 revenue minus 29,000, which is our net income. So 24,500 is our net income for the year or for the month. Looks like we're for the month ending here. So what we have is we know total assets and we know net income. Now, owner's equity, we already know the top part of the balance sheet. We know the assets equal 40,000. We did that earlier, so I'm not gonna repeat that. We just need to know what our liabilities are. We already said our liabilities are accounts payable and notes payable. So accounts payable is 3,000 and our notes payable is 19,500. So what's our total liabilities? 22,500. Now, do we have an account that says owner's equity? We have owner's drawings, which is a part of equity, but we don't have an owner's equity account. So how do we solve this? Well, the accounting equation says assets here, 40,000, have to equal the total of liabilities and equity, right? Well, if we know one, we can just rearrange the formula, we know one component, we can say, well, assets minus the 225 equals 17,500. So our owner's equity is 17,500. Let's check our work. If we take 22,5 plus 17,5, does that equal 40,000? Our balance sheet balances. So this shows how to do the accounting equation, how it really works rather than just the formula. Because at the very beginning, when you learn accounting, you say, what's the accounting equation? And you have that memorized. You say, oh, it's assets equals liabilities plus equity. But that means if you have any two, you have assets and liabilities, you can calculate equity. So this is how you use it rather than just memorize the formula. Hey, if this is helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. Also check out our accounting basics videos on the playlist. I think that'll be very helpful for you. If you have questions, put in the comments below and I can answer questions with an another video that would be helpful. So see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.